Imagine throwing a farewell party for your boss with 40,000 taxpayer dollars. That's what the Ministry for Pacific Peoples did last year, and the public service watchdog has decided to name and shame them. The price tag included flying family members around the country, extravagant gifts, and significant over-catering. The Ministry for Pacific Peoples, or should we say the Ministry for Pacific Parties. It's only been around for five years, but it's already splashing the cash on a farewell bash. The party was for the ministry's boss, La Ulu Makleuane, in October last year. His ministry spent more than 7,500 on gifts for La Ulu, including carvings and fine mats. The photographer, flowers and drummers cost more than three grand. Flights and accommodation, including for six of La Ulu's family members, cost more than seven grand. And significant over-catering, venue hire and other costs of more than 21 grand brought the total party cost to $39,200. $162.22. It didn't stop there. La Ulu wasn't even leaving the public service. He was just moving to a new ministry, the Ministry for Culture and Heritage, where they held another party. His old Ministry for Pacific People spent nearly five grand on it, which was deemed inappropriate. Public Service Commissioner Peter Hughes blasted the Ministry for Pacific People's expenditure on both the farewell and the welcome as an inappropriate use of taxpayers' money. He says it did not meet the requirement of being modest and conservative. There was also no evidence of a budget and limited expenditure oversight. It certainly threw a big party and now making some big headlines. 40 grand on a farewell? You've got to be kidding. It's like three years tax for the average worker. It's totally outrageous waste. It shows a culture where they don't care about taxpayers who are doing it hard in the wider economy. This department produces nothing, wastes money like there's no tomorrow. It should be gone.